KG, congrats on the victory. Uh, do you guys feel like the continuity and rhythm and tempo out there is to the level that you guys wanted to be at as you make this run? Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're playing well together right now. I think the continuity is there. Uh, I think we're sharing the ball very well. I think people are in a good rhythm. Um, you know, we have a lot of talent on this team. We have a lot of score, uh, offensive firepower and defensive weapons. So we know uh, not every single night is going to be your night. But, you know, on those nights that maybe it's not going for you offensively, we have guys that, uh, you know, take make that sacrifice and still uh, do things that help the team win. And that's what winning teams do. Pat Welter, Spectrum Sports. Aaron, I think I saw during the broadcast that your dad was one of the digital fans, uh, maybe your mom too, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you can tell us, but how surreal is it to have your parents watching you uh, digitally like that? And what have your thoughts been on kind of the digital fan experience so far? Uh, it definitely isn't um, the real thing. You know, there's no, no substitute for having the fans in the crowd and being able to interact with the people uh, in in courtside or see your family in the in the crowd or you know everybody turning up but uh i mean just the uh the way that the league has adapted to the circumstances is incredible and that's why it's the best league in the world so uh just appreciate that they were able to watch uh you know just having their presence in the arena it fuels me Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Aaron, you've seen a lot in your, your career, but it never gets easy to, to see someone get hurt. How uh, gut-wrenching, um, how much of a body blow did that feel to see J.I. endure that? That was tough, man. That one, that one brought me to tears. And uh, instantly, just because I know how good of a guy J.I. is, and I know how hard he works. And, um, and how hard he has worked to get back since hurting himself in uh, D.C. So uh, that was tough, but I hope it's just a tweak. I hope it's nothing serious. Uh, I know when you do come back from injury and you do feel a, a twinge of pain, you know, you always think the worst. So I'm just hoping that, you know, it's, it's not as bad as, uh, as it seems. Thank Philip you. Rossman, Mike, Orlando Magic Daily. Aaron, it, it felt like at the beginning of the game, you, you had a, a, a real intention about going into the paint and kind of being physical with, with, with who was guarding you. How, how important was it to establish that kind of physical brand early on in the game and, and kind of get yourself going and, and how that spread throughout the team? Well, I mean, that, that's my game. And uh, that's me playing my game. Uh, the energy, the physicality. Uh, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm one of the biggest players on the floor. And I just wanted to take advantage of that uh, and set the tone of uh, get to the rack. Um, and that's, that's just me playing my game, being aggressive, being attacking, being assertive. Uh, you know, uh, my man, J.E., he was talking to me about, you know, wanting me to be a little bit more aggressive. And so I took that to heart and, uh, you know, I picked it up. Can, can that kind of play, especially early on in the game, kind of spread to everyone else, especially, you know, what, when the defense is picking it up? Can, can that stuff kind of snowball and, and help guys get more confident and play better? Yeah, for sure. You know, when they see me playing to my strengths, um, it just encourages everybody else to play to their strengths as well. So uh, it just helps the team all, all together. Pat Welter, Spectrum Sports. Pat, did you have another question? Uh, yeah, Aaron, just the offense has been so impressive. Um, you know, you mentioned a couple of days ago that you think you guys are one of the best teams in the East uh, when healthy. You know, how, can this be a sign to come? Do you think there's a, a chance that the Magic could really surprise some people here if this can continue? I think we put together two pretty good games here. Uh, against the Nets and against the Sacramento Kings. And uh, I think we have, um, a lot to learn and uh, we still have some games to go, but I think this is a good blueprint of how we need to play 
night in and night out. Uh, we got a good team in Indiana coming up, so I think that'll be a good test and a good challenge. But if we play our game, I still believe we're uh, one of the best, if not the best team. Uh, Morgan Mitchell, Turner. So a lot of people were speculating that you guys were going to have some locker room division based off of J.I.'s choice. But what we saw tonight was you guys play really well together and it just be extremely supportive of him when he went down. Can you talk about the connection of your team and your guys' ability to respect each other when it feels like that's not happening in the rest of the country? Of course. Um, so we actually, we had a team meeting um, after that just to express feelings and and talk things over and what we were going to do going forward. Um, but at the end of the day, one of the reasons why we are kneeling is uh, for the safety of being able to make decisions and, and have that freedom to make a choice. And you got to respect that. You know, J.I., he chooses to stand for what he believes in. And that's part of uh, America. You know, that, that's the beauty in America is being able to choose without being suppressed or oppressed. Okay, Philip Rossman Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Um, I don't have another question. My hand was just fluffed up. Okay, um, I think we're good. Thank you, AG. I appreciate it. All right.